One of the primary reasons I see budgets fail is because people forget about certain expenses that happen throughout the year and they kind of derail your budget. Um, these are irregular expenses and an irregular expense is basically anything that doesn't happen every single month. Just, you know, things like groceries are not an irregular expense because you buy those every single month or most people do. An irregular expense typically tends to be those things like insurance premiums or annual subscriptions or even things like birthday presents that happen periodically throughout the year. Maybe they happen a couple times throughout the year, but they definitely don't happen every single month. So the way to kind of combat this issue and help you so that your budget doesn't fail when these expenses come up is doing kind of like a brain dump of all the expenses that happen throughout the year that maybe you tend to forget and putting them all in one place so that way when you go to plan and prepare your budget for the months ahead you have all of those expenses listed out in front of you so here in front of me i have um, my super simple budget spreadsheet template and you can go and grab these exact templates in the show notes below if you would like to follow along with this one otherwise just pulling out even a calendar or a pen and paper, um, that will all suffice here too. Um, I like to have it with my budget itself um, so that it's all in one place and then I don't have to bring in other resources when I'm planning my budget. So here down here, I have this planner tab that literally is just a place where I can dump all of my thoughts. Um, some irregular expenses that you may have um, may include things like insurance premiums, online memberships, uh, we pay our Amazon Prime membership only once a year, things like birthday presents, wedding presents, um, utilities. So some people pay like their sewer bills only a couple times a year or trash bills like ours only comes um, every other month and not every month. Um, things like vacations or holiday, big events that you have coming up car rewards um, or renewals or even maintenance. So if you know when you want to get your oil changed or if you need to replace your tires, those things only happen maybe once a year, maybe every couple years, things like that. Um, if you pay taxes, you need to plan for those as well as things like the dentist, eye doctor or other doctor's appointments in general, um, school supplies at the beginning of school. If you are in school or if your kids are in school, you may have to pay tuition. Um, thinking about moving expenses if you're planning on moving in the next year or even like seasonal home services. So like getting your sprinklers turned on or turned off or having your AC unit um, checked out before the summer, things along those lines. So think about the seasons and what those seasons bring as far as expenses or write down every single birthday that you have. This checklist that I have here is so that way you can put them all in one place and then also putting how much that might cost you so you know exactly how much to plan for. So if you know what your insurance premium is going to be, if you pay it two times a year for your car, you can put those on the months that those are coming up. I like to use this notes side here. And if you are just using a piece of paper, just keeping like a column or some space where you can just brainstorm ideas. So for example, maybe you know that you need to get your brakes replaced in your car somewhat soon, but you don't know exactly when. And so you want to keep a note that, hey, this is coming up um, or just something that you want to kind of plan on a month where you don't have as many expenses, but you don't know when that's going to be yet. So you can just dump that into the notes section. So you have those in front of you as well. So this is exactly how I plan out all these irregular expenses. And then when I go to plan out my month, um, I have it here in one place to go and refer. And so I even kind of will transfer those things over to the budget. Um, and start inputting them here into my monthly budget. So this is how I do it. If you have a different way that works well for you, I'd love to hear what that is. Um, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have questions about this system, definitely let me know as well. And if you don't have your budget set up, be sure to go and check out this video here to learn how to set up your monthly budget. Or if you're in a place where you're living paycheck to paycheck, you can check out this other uh, video that I have on setting up a weekly budget, which will help you kind of get out of that paycheck to paycheck cycle. If you have any other questions, feel free and reach out. I would love to help you out, but I'll see you next time.